In this video, we will see about the ABAP data dictionary structure. A structure is a group of components under a common name. A structure can hold the data, a single record only at a runtime in the program and it acts as a work area. Just like a table, a structure cannot store the data rather than it can hold a single record in the program runtime. It is also you used to show the data on the screens, mostly to use for the internal table operations at the program runtime. A structure can be defined with three types. There is a flat structure, like you can see here, this is a structure named kna1 underscore fs that has the multiple components. The components can be of any data type. This can be character, it can be dates, it can be amount. So inside a structure, we can define the components of different data types. So flat structure means, so all the components are individual component defined with single data element. And the next state means one inside another, like this. Suppose the main, we have two component, name and address, and the name component is further having a separate structure that is the first name and the last name. So these type of structures are called as the nested structure like one inside another. And the deep structure means this structure contains a table type. The table type means it acts like an internal table that can store the record in the table at runtime. That is called a table type. So we'll see how to create a structure and also see the diff what is the difference between a table and a structure. So as we created this table, so if you see here we're creating a table, we have to give the primary key. But in a structure, we don't require any kind of primary key as it does not store any data into the database table. It is just used for the performing of internal table operations. It is also used in function model, in global classes, in the program, just for the holding of data on temporary basis. As I mentioned, it can be a combination of different components. So here we can see we have the character field, there's a date field, there is a numc field, and this is called the nested structure. Like inside this, there is one more structure is embedded. So this is an example of nested structure. Now how to create a structure? Go to SC11. The data type select ZUSTR. Click on create. Here select the second radio button that is structure. Let's say employee master structure. So here we have to enter component which we want to include. Here I'm selecting as the employee ID, the title in the first name. Now here this declare is in type method. So we have to give the components a reference type. Just like table, in structure also, we can use the predefined type. Like instead of data element, we can go with predefined type. Now let me... Predefined type means instead of data element, we can use directly the predefined type as let's say numc I want of length 10 let's say mobile number save check activate so in this way we can create a simple structure and all the objects which we create 
in the data dictionary that is sc11 are called as the global data objects this means that we can use these objects in the program at any time because those we are defining in the database level so this is a simple structure which we can use in the program will have the better understanding when you are actually using in your web program so this is the type of structure in data dictionary